start it off, but uh, wanting to know whether you can make the Portland the Beavers become the Beaverton Beavers. Uh, uh, and most recently, I uh, took on uh, Chicago Mayor uh, Richard Daly about attempting to be able to poach uh, uh, Oregon businesses. Mayor Doyle. Thank you, Fred. And all right, just good morning to everybody. And again, I want to add my thanks to the congressional staff and delegation for what we're doing for the city and our area. Uh, did anyone have any? Well, today I got called into the office. Um, I don't like to go into the office. Management want to talk to me. 1718, the mail list. Uh, they want to talk to 1718. I called my attorney, Jeff, union rep, asked him to go in and find out what's going on. I don't like to go into those behind doors, small little rooms. Uh, I have a phobia about that, so I'm making them understand that. Jeff found out that I have a little problem time loss. I told him that, you know, Fred takes a lot of time off. I can take time off. He says I can take a day or two extra off each month because I'm playing for the hockey team for him and I'm doing my blogs for him. I'm teaching, have my teaching job I do, my, my guitar and music industry, but uh, apparently it's a little bit too much. So uh, they set some goals for me. They said I could do one a day, one a month for a while. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go on to not miss more than one day a month. So I, I started that the other week. I, I took my day off, as they said I could take one day a month. And um, so goals, I like goals. I like setting goals, meeting goals. Uh, however, uh, when they gave me the uh, time frame of uh, three months, uh, they got the dates wrong. Uh, they got the dates wrong twice. So uh, the management had to go back and make two revisions. So that's three pieces of paper. I'm trying to set some attendance goals up for me that managed couldn't quite get right. I had to keep taking it back to my lawyer, Jeff, and uh, they kept boggling it. Oh, well, you know, they're uh, still the best managers I think we got around, but you can't let them get away with that. I mean, that was, they, they had postponed it out, put it almost two weeks further out from my goals. I don't want to go out in two more weeks beyond the three months, so you got to watch these guys. Anyway, Sunset Bob reporting. Today, the bus operators report, I met Ivan. People are more sensitive now about uh, recording devices, so we're doing more reporting on our own and and uh, helping TriMet still be a happy, fun place. So, meet Ivan. Um, Ivan, uh, I didn't really know Ivan, but I, he caught my attention because his backpack had a, a bottle of scope, a bottle of scope hanging out like, you know, like a water jug. A big bottle of scope. And I thought, this can't be, there's something wrong with this picture. So eventually, uh, one of the mornings I saw him, I asked him, what's what's with the bottle of scope? Is that just like, you know, is that is that water or is that a sports drink? He says, no, that's actually scope. I said, why would you bring, you know, a 32 ounce bottle of scope hanging out of the backpack, swinging around? He says, well, I don't want to have bad breath for my customers. Can you believe that? Now that's dedication. A big bottle of scope for his customers so he doesn't have bad breath. Now that's going the extra mile for customer service. Way to go, Ivan.